Hi, good morning everyone. Okay, starting from today, we'll be looking at uh, the test paper, paper one, the objective questions. 40 questions all together, so let's go through this one by one. Okay, question one. 75,516 in numbers is... Okay, which one is the answer? 75... So this is 75,000, 75,000, 75,000, 75,000. They are all the same. 500. So this is 6. So this is wrong. This is 500. This is 800. So this is wrong. This is 800. So this is wrong. So obviously this is the answer. 516. So 516. So the answer is B. Question 2. State the place value nilai tempat. Okay, remember, place value is always words. Nilai tempat, how can I to list perkataan? Okay, words. Of the digit 8 in this number. So where is digit 8? Digit 8 is over here. Okay, so this one is once. Tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Okay. Sa, pulo, ratus, ribu, pulo, ribu. So it is ten thousands. Okay, so the answer is A. Question 3. Partition this number according to digit value. Okay, just now I told you place value nilai tempat. You have to write words perkataan like this perkataan perkataan words words digit value nilai digit. You have to write numbers. Can you see numbers 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 numbers. Okay, so we start off with the first one. Okay, what value is this? This is ten thousand, right? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. So six is sixty thousand. So this is correct. Sixty thousand is correct. This is wrong. This is six hundred thousand. This is wrong. This is six hundred thousand. Okay, the second number is two. What value is this? This is thousands. So two thousands. So only this is correct. This is wrong. So the answer is B. Okay, you can check other, other numbers. This is 200. This is 8, 80. And the last one is 4. Okay. Question 4. Okay, question 4. In the number 59,260, the digit, digit means number or number. The digit in the thousands place value. Okay, thousands place value. Nilai tempat ribu. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So 9 is the thousands. So you circle, you choose 9. Okay, number 5. Which is the smallest number? Okay, so you compare them from the front. Banding mula i depan. So the first number, baris pertama, 9, 9, 9, 9. So they are all the same, right? Second row, baris kedua, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. We are looking for the smallest number, third picture. So they are the same. Third one is 9, 8. So 9 is bigger. So this is wrong. We are looking for the smallest number. This one is 9, 9. So of course, 8 is smaller. So this is wrong, this is wrong. So this is the smallest number. 92,899. Okay, question 6.
Okay, question six. Estimate anggarkan the number of marbles in jar Q dalam balang Q. So we have to estimate this one. Okay, if you look here, this is P. P is 240. It's around here. So there are two parts here. One part, two parts. So we can estimate, we can say that the number of marbles in P is two times the number of marbles in Q. So, guli dalam balang Q hanya separuh sahaja daripada guli, bilangan guli dalam P. So, kalau separuh, you take 240, divide 2. Okay, separuh kita bahagi 2. So, you divide 2 times 2, 4. 0 times 0, 0 times 2, 0. So we can estimate that the number of marbles in Q is 120. Half, half of the number of marbles in P. Okay, number 7. What is the number left in the box? Okay, so we look at the numbers here. 300, 600, 900, 1005. Is it ascending or descending? Okay, ascending means the numbers going up, going getting bigger. Descending means the number getting smaller. So 300, 600, 900, 1005, that means it is ascending. Or in bahasa tertib me, naik. Nombor makin besar. So if the number is getting bigger, you have to plus. You have to plus. So how much to plus? You take the bigger number, 600, and minus the smaller number. Make sure they are side by side. Okay, they are side by side, then only you can do that. So 600 minus 300, you get 300. So the difference is 300. That means 300, you need to plus 300, plus 300, plus 300, plus 300. Okay, every number you have to plus 300 to get to the next number. So beza antara nombor ialah 300. Awak perlu tambah 300 untuk dapatkan nombor yang seterusnya. So how do we find the number in the box? You take 900, this number that is right before the box. And then you plus 300. Sebab beza dia 300. Okay, kalau you, awak rasa saya terlalu cepat, selalu pause video, tengok semula, tengok dua kali, tiga kali sampai, faham. Okay, then you add up. So the number in the box is 1002. C. So you check again. If I take 1002, you plus 300, do you get 1005? Yes, you do. Okay, then your answer is? Correct. Okay, question 8. Round off this number to the nearest 10,000. Pulo ribu terdekat. So you find the pulo ribu value. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So 42,852, this is the 10,000, Pulau Ribu. And then we look at the next four number. So the middle number, the magic number is always 5. So there are four digits here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So make sure you also have four digits. So if it is 5,000 and above, you plus 1. If it's less than 5,000, you don't do anything. So the number here is 852. So 852, so it is less than 5,000. So you don't do anything. So this 4 here, kekal 4, remains. The rest you change to 0. So your answer is 40. Thousand. Okay. 
Alright, that's all for today. I'll see you again.